Good morning, welcome to Tin Barn Farm. Today, we are working on the tractor. So in the morning at the break of dawn, out in the trail with my rubber boots. Some pretty little babies, huh? Yeah, this one is Elsa, Honor, and Olaf. And then the two goats that are out with Ginger are Sven and, uh, so what are you guys' name? Right here. Sven and... Kristoff. Kristoff, yeah. Sven and Kristoff. That, that, that other goat down there yeah. is getting ready to have babies. And then Elsa, Look, look at her bag, Anna, bag down there. And... Her what? And Olaf. Yeah, she's been starting to build one. So we're going to pull the seeds out of these. Is there another bin in there, or are they all froze like this? I think they're all frozen like this. Alright. Cool. <laughs> made it through there. Power and through. <laughs> Why not? She's Let's making it. On. She needs to get on the other side of the road. This old crown road is not easy for a bike, is it? This side's a lot easier if you ride on that. Is it? This side. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Independence. But JoJo's staying right with her, huh? <laughs> no one heard George come up. George will, he'll just lay out in the yard till they leave, <laughs> usually. See right here, that grade bothers her, I guess. <laughs> Nelly, how was the ride? Good. Was it pretty hard? Yeah? Jojo stuck right with you, huh? Boy, you can ride that bike good. All right, you be good for Papa, okay? Love you, Pops. Love you, Nelly. Love you, Nelly. Good morning. Welcome to Tin Barn Farm. Today, we are working on the tractor. So a couple of things happened. Our, our hub was loose. As you remember, one of the few videos back, we tire fell off. So it was loose again today, so we tightened that up. I didn't video any of that. But anyways, we the main reason today is focusing on getting a wider wheelbase on the tractor so that the mulch layer works better. So we can pull dirt that we're not running over the dirt that needs to go on the side of the plastic to hold it down. So we turn, we swap tires. We put this tire over the tire that was here on that side and that one on this side. And what that did is it made the offset, the offset was six inches here. So we gained a foot on the front. So I think we're really good on the front. The back tires is going to be another question, another thing. I don't know if I want to go a full uh, foot wider, but I it would be nice to get at least three to four inches wider. But we're going to roll these around and, and it'll make the tractor more stable. It spreads our rows out further so we have a little more space between the rows. And so right around here we got plenty of land to plant. So that's not really not going to hurt us to have uh, fewer rows per acre because we got enough land to plant and to, to do that. But it'll also help us with our moisture because the moisture moves sideways in the soil. And so as it moves sideways, the more distance we have between the rows, the more soil or more water will move sideways for like dry land. So come along with us and we'll, we'll uh, keep swapping tires around. So we've loosened these bolts here. We have a jack going on underneath here. We jacked it up. We got some stands to hold it up for safety. And so now we're ready to pull these tires off. Um, we can zip those. Are the, are the tires off the ground? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Zip those off. Where's the can for the nut? Get the dry pot. Wiggle it out. Let's roll it out. Fast. Right there. We can set it down. All right. So I 
think if we if we take these bolts out and just turn that over, that'll give us a full foot wider. So let's break those loose. Those have got to come off. I'm gonna take off these bolts on it and see if we can figure out a way to pull the to make it a little bit bigger <laughs> out of, off of taking off that plate on the inside of that uh, on the inside of the rim. One thing we can do is switch this around and then put it back here. Where's the tape measure at? Right there behind you, see? If we do it this way, I'm assuming we're just getting there to there, right? Eight inches. It should probably be get a full foot. All right, so we're popping these up. It's not 100%. They look pretty dang good. I figure we'll probably have eight inches wider. So hang on before we get, let's get this other, we haven't got any in that one. We got to get at least one in that side. You got to loosen up the others. I, th I thought we had one in in each side. So we got to get one in each side before, because we got to be able to pick it up to control that. There you go. Get a washer and nut on it. Might be easier to stand this thing up and work at it from both sides, huh? Thank 
good to screw all these tight. You know? <laughs> All these washers? No, I have enough now. Where's the rest of them from? They're, They're from, from the, the lugs. The lugs? The bolts that hold the tire on? Another nut over there? I need, yeah, one more. The washer or no? No. Nope. Make sure you got the right washers because they're two different sizes of washers. You got the right ones? I think so. I don't know. Let me. I got one washer here that's bigger than that. Two washers that are bigger than all the rest. Those ones small? Huh? Yeah. Hey, where's your zoom 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 zoom? Go make sure they're on there, you don't cross them out. Hang on. A little boy looks from his daddy's hand. He's daddy, I'm going to be a farmer. Dad, when I can, Daddy, let me be your farming man. See that barn full of hay stacked to the rafter, looks good that way. Milk in the bucket, so pearly white. Daddy's boy sings, sleeps good tonight. Daddy, let me be your farming man. So up in the morning at the break of dawn. In the crib, my rubber boots on. All right. Can you turn that a little? You can see here how much it went out, how far it is, and then how far it is there. So there's quite a big difference. So that's what it looks like now. You can see we're going to take this whole hub, basically where it's at, and just turn it around like that. And bolt it on so the distance from here out to here is what we're gaining sticking the tire further out this way so that's what we did on the other side and it gave us 
as you can see the distance between the fender here and the outside tire just look at that distance and then come on this side and that's what it was currently about almost six inches to that not about nine so it's about nine inches per side so it was four foot a little less than four foot so it's going to be the same distance as the front what do you guys think think it's i know it's too wide to go in the, the barn let's just yeah. do it Too crazy. Inside of that tire over there. So we got five foot two inches. The front we have five foot. Push it back up there. Just turn it all the way until it's uh, on this side. Turn it all the way this side. Keep turning. It'll probably move a little. There you go. Yep. Did that work? Yep. All right. Okay, buzz them in. Just get all snug all the way around. This tractor has a lot more. One foot. The back went out actually 14 inches because it was two inches shy of four foot before. Now it's two inches wider. Um, it's definitely a lot wider tractor. We could even get the, well, that's the widest. No, we could actually get the front tires even wider. Uh -huh. Yep. We don't need them wider, but. We can make them dry as wide as the outside. Yeah. Problem. Let's up. Uh, I'm going to tighten the lug nuts up. Once you guys get the the air filter out of there, and go blow it out real good. Okay. okay. I'll, I'll put them away. But... Yeah. Make sure that inner one's pushed in all the way first. All right, let's check the oil. All right, so we finished up putting the tractor back together, got the tires <laughs> charged, my helper. So we got the mulch layer on, and we're gonna head over and lay some mulch pipe at the bean field. So come along. Daddy, I'm gonna be a farmer. 